Today we're gonna to go through a really quick trick in Photoshop to really bring out the drama in your skies. It's Tutorial Tuesday with the Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday where each and every week, each and every Tuesday, we bring you a brand new fresh photography tutorial. And this week we're diving into Photoshop. We're gonna check out a quick, easy trick it's actually so easy, but it brings out a lot of drama in your skies, in landscape photos, or portrait photos, or anything you like, really. But it allows you to control the colors and the amount of drama and how you kind of bring it out. So let's, let's just dive straight in without any further talking. Let's just get straight involved. So I've got this photo here, which we're gonna do a little bit of work on the sky here. You know, it's a, it's a reasonably nice sort of landscape, but the sky was a little bit, a uh, little bit, boring, shall we say. It's not too bad because you've got quite a lot of cloud there, but we can certainly spice things up, add a little bit of drama. Now, I've literally just opened this up in Photoshop. We've got our one background layer here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select that background layer. We're going to press Control J on our keyboard. That's going to actually duplicate that layer and give us another layer called Layer 1. We're going to go back, select the background layer again, and then down here in the bottom right, we're going to select this little icon here, which allows us to create an adjustment layer or a solid color in this case. We're gonna come right up to the top here and select solid color. And the reason that we've done this so that the layer exists within the middle of those two layers is so that we can actually come over here to the image with our eyedropper tool, which automatically opens when you're selecting the color for this solid color layer. We're gonna select the color of the sky. So I'm gonna come up to the top left here where there's a bit of blue. I'm gonna select that, it's gonna pick a bit of blue. And all we need to do is just make that color a little bit darker. So I'm actually gonna bring that down to probably about, probably about here. And you could desaturate it a little bit, or you could you could actually saturate it a little bit more if you want to. I'm gonna leave it pretty much like that. We can always come back and change it later anyway. So I'm gonna press okay. And then I'm going to come over to the actual layer mask here, drag the full layer up to the top. So they've got the layer, the actual color across the whole image. Select that layer mask and press Control I. That's gonna set the layer mask all black. If you wanna learn more about layer masks, we've got a full video on them. But otherwise, gonna set it all black so nothing is visible. We're gonna come up to our paint brush tool here with white selected. We're just gonna start painting onto the sky. Now, try not to paint onto the landscape itself, just onto the sky. There we go. Paint all over that. Get a little bit here. If you wanna make the uh, brush a little bit smaller, you can hold Alt, right click, and, uh, and drag left and right to increase or decrease the size of your brush. Now, of course, that's not where we're gonna leave it. We're gonna come over here to the layer, double click anywhere on this uh, on this gray area here. Just double click that. And we're gonna go over to the underlying layer on blend if. We're gonna bring this top part down and you're gonna see it's gonna start kind of coming out of the highlight areas. If we bring it all the way down, it'll go completely. But what we wanna do, that's a little bit a little bit hard, a little bit not as soft and not as feathered as we'd like. We're gonna hold Alt and left click on this little selector here to actually separate it. We're gonna bring the left hand part down a little bit. Maybe the right hand part up or down and just adjust it until it looks pretty good on the sky. I think that looks pretty good. Let's press OK. I mean, immediately that's made a huge difference. Let's turn that layer on and off. So this is on obviously. And that's off. So that was that was before, and this is where we've got to now. But to make it even more dramatic, we can change the blending mode. So you can experiment a little bit, but multiply works pretty well. I mean, look at that. And then we can just drag the opacity down until it looks pretty good, pretty much where we want it to be. Now, if I just zoom in a little bit, you can see there's an area that we definitely missed with the mask just around the cliff here. But we can just go into the actual layer mask, select the brush tool with white, just reduce the size of our brush and paint that in a little bit there as well. I suppose the C doesn't matter too much if we get it on there, but uh, but otherwise we can pretty much leave it as is. If you go over and you wanna paint or get rid of that white in the layer mask so that we remove some of this from the area, we can press X just to change our color to black, and then you can paint over the C there just to remove it a little bit if you want to as well. That's essentially how we're gonna add drama to our skies. Let's look at one more before and after. So before, and then after. So you can play around with that. You can then go in and change the color afterwards. Let's just double click on the color here. And we can actually make that darker if we wanted to, or we can make it lighter, or we can make it more saturated if we want to add color. Or of course we could change the color entirely 
and actually go for something completely different. Now I'll pop a full list of all the kit I used to take this photo and of course shoot this video down in the description below so you can go and check that out for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video because we've got new stuff all the time, tutorials every Tuesday. I will of course see you in the next video and as always, thanks for watching.